Hello. In this demo, we'll demonstrate the remote butler attack. So we'll start off with our victim, which in our case will be a Windows 10 client machine. As you can see here, we'll log on with the regular password, which is abc123abc, just to see that everything works correctly. All right, so we're in the machine, and now let's log off. So this demonstrates that the user has gone away from the machine, for example, gone home. Now let's load our Kali Linux machine uh, and perform an nmap scan. We're performing it on port 3389, which is the RDP port, and on our network. So let's see what open machines we have and as we can see here we have one machine that has an open RDP port at 10.0.0.8 so let's remote desktop to it and here we have our username and the doma domain name so the attackers now set up a rogue DC machine they reroute the traffic of uh, the, this machine to the rogue DC, and we carry out the remote butler attack. So to illustrate this, we'll just disconnect and connect uh, network adapters. This is uh, done. This is our DC, and we'll just disable it. All right, and now we'll enable it on our rogue DC. So now the traffic is um, manipulated, and all traffic from our target machine will go through the rogue DC. So on the rogue DC we'll create a new username which as we've seen is user2 and we'll set the password to be A and the user must change password at next logon. Alright, now the attacker oh, disconnected, let's just connect again. Now the attacker will log on with the attacker chosen password which in our case is a All right and we get the prompt to change the password we'll change it and we'll change it to B password has been changed now the attackers block all traffic this is done just by disconnecting the adapter and perform the password the logon And we've logged on. OK, so now um, we're just going to show that the original password doesn't work anymore. So we're going to disconnect from the machine. We're going to try to log on with the original password, which is abc123abc here. And the password is incorrect because uh, the cache credentials has been poisoned. Now we're going to connect again with the user with the attacker chosen password, which is B, and we're logged on. All right. So now the attackers will connect the DC again, and let's access a share on the DC and copy Mimikatz to the machine. All right, now the attackers will um, will grab the hashes. Here you can see the user to the hashes. So this is the original password NTLM hash and this is the new password NTLM hash. So we're going to copy the original NTLM hash and we're going to change it in the cached credentials entry. So we need to go elevate to system privilege. All right, now we're in system. Now let's take a look at the cache credentials. This is the MS cache of V2. Now we're going to change it to be the original cache. So we first 
enter the user and the NTLM hash. And the MS cache has been replaced with the original MS cache. Okay, so the attackers have the NTLM hash, they've replaced the MS cache v2 entry. Now we can delete Mimikatz and log off. Disconnect the rogue DC. And now let's just look and see what happens if we try and log on with the Win10 machine again. So this uh, simulates the scenario when the user comes back to his machine, but it's still not connected to the, the DC, for example, if he takes the, his laptop to a meeting. So he's going to try and connect with his original password, which is ABC123 ABC. Since it's not connected to a DC, it will eventually try and check the MS uh, cache v2 credentials, and as you can see, we managed to log on. All right, so we're gen now we're going to lock it again. We're going to reconnect the original DC, just show that the same password you can be used uh, when the DC is connected and everything works, and we're logged in. All right. So final thing the attackers can do is now that they have the original NTLM hash, they can carry out a pass the hash uh, attack. So we're logging on with the stolen NTLM hash. Now we're in the machine and running under vlab1 user2. So that's it. Thank you very much.